It's called the birthplace of speed. Back then, it was the hard-packed sand that allowed for records to be broken. Today, it's the high banks and long straightaways. Not to mention, it's the dream of every driver and fan, offering a moment of glory that will extend well beyond 500 miles for years to come. We're still talking about the first one, and guarantee we'll be talking about this one. Here's to the great American race that can only be the Daytona 500. Last week, we finished fourth at Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. Today, we are going to Kansas for the Digital Alley 400 at Kansas, 35 laps. We have four wins on the season, and um, I'm not even sure who won this race. Eric Almarola won that race, so if we go to... If we go to the season standings, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen different winners, and there's this race and another one so you know we could we'll have two spots left actually we'll have one if a different winner wins Kansas and Watkins Glen then that's that, so let's jump down to the track for qualifying. Qualifying lap starts now. If you guys are at Daytona for the uh, Daytona 500, your boy will be there at the e NASCAR booth, aka the iRacing booth. Um, I will be there as well as Auto Club in Fontana, California. I will be there as well. 2023 season starts today, guys. All right. <laughs> we get pole yet again, of course. Um, not gonna lie, I'm not not really surprised about that and BJ McLeod again with another top 10 qualifying run I don't know how this I don't know how this man keeps doing that but he keeps doing it green flag is out here at Kansas all four Joe Gibbs racing cars are in the top five feeling really good about that we're gonna run high see how the high lanes of uh, Kansas treat us look to be treating us pretty well Denny Hamlin tries to side draft us we get into the wall just a little bit playing NASCAR rivals a lot lately um, especially traveling I can run the wall I love playing heat 5 I can run the wall because you know motorsport games obviously had to mess up the game so you're if you're running Kansas and you're about here, if you're running close to the wall, if you're running, let's say, like this, you're hitting the wall. But it doesn't actually show the car as making, it shows the car as making contact, but you can clearly see that you have the... Not the momentum, but you have like an inch to do. you have a couple inches to spare. It's like they put the wall like too far in than from what it was supposed to be. Which I mean I guess is a good thing, but like <laughs> I don't understand. The Unity engine is so good. They they did it on all the racetracks as well, like Daytona. Um Darlington, I hate running Darlington in NASCAR Rivals just because it, it's just not the, it, it, I don't know, it just doesn't, doesn't, I feel like it just doesn't run well anymore. 
Um, in my opinion, that's kind of how I feel. Comment down below who you guys think is going to win the 2023 Daytona 500. My pick is either Ryan Blaney or Bubba Wallace. You know, I'm a Toyota. I'm a tier D guy, so no more leading towards Bubba Wallace and Denny Hamlin more than anything. Um, that would be a really nice. You never know. Maybe Brad Kozlowski can. Maybe Kozlowski can pull off a better run. All never. All four Joe Gibbs Racing cars are one, two, three, four. There's gonna be a record six cars. No, seven in the Daytona 500 this year if Travis Pastrana is able to qualify his way in then that will happen caution is out for what I don't know but I guess something happened guess we will pit not that big of an issue here. Kurt Busch back there. Still there. Not gonna lie, your boy is kinda tired. So I'm gonna tell you guys um, the uh, next season or career mode, career season, whatever you wanna call these, that I'm gonna be doing in heat five we will be um basing it off of the 2023 cup oh, series one, schedule um we will be basing it off of that but obviously you guys know coliseum not in the game um What else is not in the game? Chicago Street Course, North Wilkesboro. Those tracks are not in Heat 5. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to run any of those. We have Worldwide Technology Raceway. We have Gateway, so we can do that. Um, so, there is, yes, a lot of races that we can do. But those races that we don't have that are on the cup series schedule we're not including an all-star race or a um clash um i might decide to do an all-star race i might but um like all-star race at daytona or something like that you know or maybe we just bring it to charlotte <laughs> but we will not have that and for the championship here in this season, I was thinking about, uh, I actually made one. We took the Homestead Miami Speedway logo and put the, made our own Cup Series championship thing, but we've put that design on hold for a little bit and we've added it. We took the NASCAR 75th anniversary logo Put the championship logo in that, and then the two sides where it says 1948 to 2023. We put the NASCAR 75th anniversary logo in one side, and then I'll just pop pop it up on the screen right here, so there you guys can see it. Um, so that's what I'm talking about right there. Um, it's quite nice actually. Um, it's a nice logo. I like it. Um, man, we're finding. So so much speed on the top. Um, a lot of you guys wanted me to do a Daytona 500 stream. I would have. Um, currently, as I'm recording this, I'm not at Daytona. When I'm recording this, uh, unfortunately, I'm missing qualifying and all that, and the the whole media day. Uh, Cause that's actually when I'm recording this right now, and then I have my flight later. So. Oof, it's gonna be fun, but at the same time, it's gonna be stressful because technically we're doing four straight weeks 
of this because we have Daytona that I'm going to, Auto Club, Phoenix, and Vegas. I'm doing the whole West Coast swing with iRacing as well. So be prepared for that. Um, but Auto Club is going to be a very special one. It's the final race on the two-mile racetrack. Kind of sad about it. But, man. I think they should keep it or turn it into a super speedway. I think that would be really cool. Oh! Three wide with a teammate. Don't like that. I do not like that at all. Oh, man. Going three, ri three ride? Yeah, going three ride. Three wide with your teammates. That's not a good thing to do. It's also kind of weird, too. Not shifting to fifth. I keep, I, I keep pushing the button to shift, but... There is no, there is nothing else to shift. Lay off him in the corner. At least we have a, a working rear view mirror in the car. And when we go like this. Something that NASCAR 21 Ignition still does not have. So NASCAR 23 probably, well uh, not probably, it's not going to happen. So we're going to go another year without a NASCAR game. Well, PC game and all that. Kind of sucks, but I still am going to be making a video on it. Um, you know, my top five, top ten things that I want to see in the next NASCAR game. I think you guys are all kind of expecting me to make one as we cross the finish line and we win stage one over our teammate Denny Hamlin got us some stage points man Toyotas are strong today I feel like a Toyota is definitely going to win a race we all stay again in the top five can we get a Joe Gibbs racing one two three four comment down below Hopefully you guys are having a great day. My day is going pretty good. I'm gonna swoop in behind Kyle Bush. Give him a little bump there. But right, hopefully you guys are all having a great day. My day is going pretty good so far. Um so we have that but another thing if we do get a new nascar game obviously you guys know what we're going to be doing we're going to be doing the same thing that i'm doing now with a driver selecting that and doing that um if we get an announcement date and all that if we do get a nascar 23 in 2023 then i'm going to plan it to where we do two races in one video that's what we're gonna do um kind of what michael Moots does with his nascar rivals series um and a lot of you guys have are, are have been asking me you know why aren't you doing a nascar rivals career mode or a series and that's just because i don't know i feel like that game like it's not so much because it's broke it's not broken it's just i don't know i feel like it's it's just i don't know i think it's because it's on the switch and all that and stuff like that i have a feeling that that's why i don't do it um trust me i want to you guys i i want to do a nascar rivals thing you guys see it all the time on tiktok of nascar rivals of crashes because, you know, NASCAR Rivals has the physics of Heat 5. So cars are constantly, you know, 
you, when when you hit them sometimes when you spin them out and another car hits them they go flying and all that that's kind of how it is there but hopefully we are able to uh, do that and another thing I want to speak on of a series kind of dying out is the NAS not the um, the Real Racing 3 NASCAR Next Gen thing that we had going on for a couple weeks there. Every Friday. Actually, no, it was Saturday. Uh, unfortunately, that, coming, that is coming to an end because... For those of you, of you that don't know, for Real Racing 3, I had an APK downloaded for it. So we had the money and all that. And... Now we don't have the we have the 2022 cars for F1, but unfortunately I have to restart them, which I something that I don't want to do. So we have that, and this also would have never happened if I would have you know just talked to the editors and be like hey we're just gonna pre-record this whole series but formula friday will be a thing when f123 comes out we will do a formula friday um that will be a thing formula friday will be a thing and who knows maybe maybe we will bring back that but real racing 3 isn't gonna just like die but, you know, it will be, you know, there's still going to be a Real Racing 3 on the channel. It's just not going to be how it was originally. How I intended it being was how it was for that couple weeks. And now it's unfortunately kind of died out a little bit, which sucks. But at the same time, it's like, what, what, do, what do I do? What am I supposed to do? I gotta pause. I have an itch, and I can't get it. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Ooh, rubbing the wall a little too much there. Ooh. See, now's the time where I don't want to, like, run into the wall or anything. But it seems like we're kind of doing it more and more often now, which... Oof. That one hurt us. A little bit. Kyle Bush is here, boys. Kyle Bush... And Ryan Blaney are here. They have joined the party. Let's try and let Kyle Bush get in front of me so that I can bump draft to Denny and Truex. Looks like they're having looks like they're having a battle right there. Don't know who's gonna take that one for the lead. Yeah, that's why that's why we're sliding up under the walls because our tires too. To like, tires, man. Got a car load now. Oh, Ryan Blaney! Ryan Blaney just spun us out as we got loose. No! Dang it! No! No! We were running one, two, three, four for so freaking long! No! White flag presented by Apex Gaming PCs. One to go. We're, we're gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> Denny Hamlin wins at Kansas. Man, that sucks. Now let's watch. 
I get loose there. Kyle comes, 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 comes. Go to block Blaney and... <laughs> I just get loose and then try and save it over correct. And then go, think I have it saved. And then Eric Almarola comes. Hits us. And I think we finished in 16th. I think. If I think. Yeah, because we took the light. Yeah, we finished in. No, 15th. 14th? Yeah, we finished in 14th. Let's watch from here. I get loose. See Kyle Bush coming. I go to block Blaney. And Blaney just shows me the bumper. And from there it goes down. He'll tag him. Tag Almarola. Man, that is just... That just sucks. That's all that really does. It just sucks. Let's see where our fellow Toyota teammates finished. If Blady didn't, if I did, Blady didn't hit me, I would have been a one, two, three, four. No! God damn it, Blady! Damn it, man! It's okay. Congratulations to Denny Hamlin. Ties. Everybody but Kyle Busch in the Toyota TRD JGR camp has four wins. So 15 out of the 36 races are going to come from Joe Gibbs. Plus more. You guys already know we're going to win more races. So this brings one more spot. Two, no, this opens two spots for points in the, in the playoffs because we have... Next week, Watkins Glen, and then we start the playoffs. So that leaves two spots, two spots open on the points. <sighs> Man, it's it's gonna be a good one, you know. Probably should get Blaney a win, but it is what it is. <laughs> Finished 14th. Not very happy about it, but, um, you know, it is what it is. I can't believe I put Daytona. I put Daytona as a cutoff race in the playoffs. And Vegas Auto Club's cutoff championship decided at Homestead. One race until the playoffs start at Bristol. Kind of stoked about it, boys. Let me know if you guys are stoked about it, too. Don't forget to tune in to Fox later today. Actually, probably in like two hours. Two or three hours, tune in to Fox for the Daytona 500. Um, you guys can comment down below who you guys are picking for to win the Daytona 500. You guys are in all my picks. Peace out. Wow, wow. Okay, we're just gonna... This is weird. I was just gonna end it. That's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with friends if you enjoyed, if you're interested in getting a gaming computer. Please click the link in the description below this video. Apex Gaming PCs absolutely, absolutely fantastic computers. If you guys use code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D, you guys get can get 10% off using their calculate ten percent off using it code squad. That is ten percent off using it code squad SQUAD. Peace out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.